Hello, this is James with Fun Media. I'm here at the beautiful Arkansas Regional with Team 8044 Denim Venom. We're going to be going over this amazing robot and how it's going to just plow through the competition today on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Kettering University's cutting edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, feature-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. So Ethan, you were going to start us off and go over some of the robot? Yeah, I got you. So uh, what I, one of the things that I think is the coolest thing about a robot is our two-stage elevator with the pivot on the arm. So instead of having a three-stage elevator, which can, have, can give us more weight on the robot, we chose to do a two-stage elevator with an arm as a pivot. So if you want to show off. So go for it. Got it? Yep. Yeah, just give me one second. So as you see here, our intaking on our coral and our, our coral and our algae, our, our coral or algae intake is on the front right here with this band that just basically pulls it back just in case. And we try to do this with like other like aluminum other stuff, but it would just pass all the way through. So we switched with this band, which was working really well. And also, as you can notice, this is our coral intake. All these wheels, I'm sorry, but all these wheels, it's a very wide intake. We took inspiration from a, one of the 2023 Citrus Circuits. So even though we have, like, a, a, have a wide intake, we can place the coral anywhere. And there's this time of flight sensor right here. So this reads how long or how far away the coral is. And we can use code to basically auto uh, align ourselves to the reef and score very um, on the on the reef. Awesome. So you said that it was, it was two stage elevator. How high can you guys reach? Um, we can reach. We can score on the barge with this little like flipper, like a little bit outward, and and we're able to score the algae into the net itself. <laughs> So as you see right there, our flipper comes out and this allows us to score the algae with only having a three or two stage elevator. All right, gotcha. Oh yeah. All right, that's really cool. Uh, Sebastian, you wanted to go over some more stuff? Yeah, so I'll talk about our uh, rear intake that we currently have. This is for algae. Uh, we intake algae from the ground here, so it'll go in here and it'll stow inside of this up here. Can you um, stow it, Evan? And so you can see it, it will, will, this will flip out, it will roll into this, this will grab it, catch it, throw it up into here, it'll be held here and we can either you know, score on the um, processor or we can go score in the barge, whatever we decide. We can also flip this out and score um, a grab from the reef so we can go score barge or processor, whatever we like. And then um, we plan on also having another ground intake for coral. We don't have it yet, we have it um, worked out at home. We implemented it on our practice bot but we couldn't get it in time. We didn't like how it worked for Arkansas, so we decided not to implement it coming here. But uh, once we you know, perfect that at home, we'll get that on as well. Hopefully have it for our next two uh, regionals. And then we have our climb up here that um, it'll, the elevator will come up a little bit. This thing will flip out. Uh, do you want to run it, Evan? Yeah, I might have to back up a little bit. Yeah, so. We'll go up to the uh, stage, or not the stage, the barge. We'll go up to the cage. This will flip out, we'll go underneath, and then we'll grab on to the, um, the bottom of the cage with the hook here. It'll uh, orient itself into here, grabbing the bottom here, and then we'll just pull it up. And um, we have a ratchet on this gearbox back here. Right there, we have a ratchet. So it pulls itself up, and it can't be um, let go until we you know, let go of the ratchet after the match ends. And to let it spring out, we use these um, surgical tubing bands. Um, they Ready to start really, the really are uh, elastic, so it helps it flip it out really fast. And then we use this special rope right here. Really, really strong, it doesn't break. We never had a break or anything like that. So yeah, it's pretty nice, works pretty well. All right, all that's really cool. And then Evan, you wanted to go over some stuff with the programming? 
Yeah, of course. So um, basically, the really cool part about uh, this entire robot is the superstructure uh, capability that we have. So all of these uh, subsystems and mechanisms have to interact with each other in order to make it so that none of them hit each other whenever it's moving. Like, for example, if the uh, elevator ca ca carriage is like too um, high whenever it's like flipping the entire uh, arm and claw in then it'll hit this top bar so basically we basically what we have is a super movement class with it, which is just a bunch of logic to avoid uh like hitting and um interacting uh with uh each um like mechanism uh so that none of them break during matches uh, another thing is our inverse kinematics so basically uh, what we do is we just input a goal angle and goal position, uh, also detecting like the distance from the reef. So like for example, if there's a coral in here, we can detect the distance from the reef in order to like change that goal position and um, like uh, claw position so that we can um, basically uh, get the coral onto the reef no matter like how far away it is. Uh, all you need to do is implement, input the goal position and angle, and it'll automatically just move all of the uh, subsystems to uh, those um, the needed positions in order to achieve that. Uh, that's the really cool part about this, and it's basically like the claw, the arm, the elevator, and the algae intake all have to move synchro synchronously in order to uh, basically achieve what we want to do. Uh, all of this is simmed beforehand. So basically uh, in Advantage Scope, we can uh, sim the entire robot, transforms and all. For example, if the elevator goes up in our sim, we have it set to go up in the actual simulator. It's a really cool thing to see. And uh, can't show it right now because the power off is off for the pit. Yeah. Uh, but, um, <laughs> Basically, uh, it goes up and we can actually see where it's aligned in the simulator to see if it's actually aligned with each level so that we can see if it's going to make it on. And that's how we tuned a lot of the measurements and angles in order to uh, put them into actual commands. We simmed everything before even running this robot. And uh, it was really cool whenever it uh, first turned on and um, we tuned all of the pit for the elevator, the arm, the claw, and it just worked. It was really, it was really cool. Um, it's something that is really helpful for um, making it really fast and uh, making it really precise because if we want to change something, we just write it, sim it, deploy it. Um, same thing for autos. Uh, we have full pose estimation, so um, our trajectory follower in auto will um, always know where it needs to go in order to follow the auto path to a T. It is really cool. So you said you had full pose estimation. I noticed that you have three unique cameras on the robot, at least that what I can see. Is that all the cameras on your robot? Yeah, that's and all the cameras. how do you utilize them, each one individually for that? Yeah, so um, basically there's two Limelight 4s which uh, run the uh, Limelight IMU for like odometry and positioning, but also the April tags uh, for Ready like for the pose estimation. And, and then we have this camera down here, this Limelight down here, uh, for aiming uh, the uh, cage whenever we go to climb. Um, so basically the drivers can see this on a uh, shuffleboard and they can align up uh, the cage uh, using that camera. And then we have these also on shuffleboard for backups in case something's uh, obstructing it. But these are the main ones that are used for uh, pose estimation. The lights on them are really useful because it generalizes the light between competitions so that it's more consistent and we don't have to like recalibrate it every single time. Um, it's really helpful for that. And um, yeah, the Limelight 4s are really good. Uh, they, you, we use MetaTag 2 to do pose estimation and it is very accurate. Um, basically, uh, auto scoring is very good. We basically just press a button and it just goes up to the uh, reef, plops it on. All right, really cool. You guys are doing really well so far at this competition. Plus you have Magnolia next week and then Bayou three weeks after that. 
it looks like if, as long as you guys continue along this path, one of those events is probably in the bag. All right, that's it today with 8044 here at the Arkansas Regional, today on Behind the Bumpers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, feature-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions.